Jurassic Dead. Yes, this is Wild Eye Releasing Week here on Body Bags. And I decided to do Jurassic Dead. Uh, what happens when you cross dinosaurs and zombies? You get Jurassic Dead. Directed by Milko Davis and Thomas Marwick is the co-director of this film. And this is a fun film. Look at the beautiful artwork here. As is in most Wild Eye releasing slipcovers and films. Here's the back. Oh, yes. Dead cat being reanimated into zombie cat. <laughs> Amongst other creatures. And check out. Beautiful artwork. I love this. Why are they releasing has some of the most beautiful artwork ever on their films? Check this out. Really awesome. And yes, this is a good mix of dinosaurs and zombies. <laughs> so let's get into the synopsis, shall we? All right, this Dr. Borg, which I think is the greatest name for a doctor. Not only is he a very intelligent scientist, but he's also a college professor. And basically, he has a, a serum for reanimating the dead. <laughs> but unbeknownst to many, when he reanimates them, they turn into zombie form. <laughs> and so at some point, well, it's still in the beginning, he has this dinosaur, which he found, <laughs> which obviously is an extinct creature. And so he gives it to ser the serum, and he shows these federal agents exactly what he can do with it. But let's <laughs> the uh, dinosaur comes back to life. Now, you can tell it's a puppet. Yeah, yeah, it's all rubbery. <laughs> but it's, a, it's, it's damn cute, too. I'm sorry. And he just, like, swarms and kills the agents. So now we show him in a college class. We, we know he's a college professor. He's teaching students. And if students don't agree with what he says, they don't have to stay. He kicks them out. <laughs> Which, he's like, anybody who wants to leave can leave now. And all the students just kind of look at him and stay. <laughs> Somebody said it to me. I would walk out. I'm sorry, but... Anyways, uh, the students really respect him. So after one of the college classes, he walks across the street. <laughs> and in hysterical fashion, I laughed out so loud. Now, normally, if I were to see something happen like this in real life, I wouldn't laugh because it would be bad. But in a movie like this where a truck comes in and hits Dr. Borg, and then we don't see Dr. Borg for a little while. We do see him uh, in the midst of the film, though. <clears throat> so now we meet up with these college kids. All four of them are adults, complete and utter adults. <laughs> one's a, <laughs> one's a, a football guy, you know? He plays football, and, you know, he's working on a scholarship to a good college. <laughs> and um, he wants to be a big football star. He don't drink, he don't smoke. He's kind of one of those guys. And his girlfriend is ditzy. And in the back, the two potheads just smoking away and drinking and <laughs> having a good old time. But what happens when people take vacations and a horror movie ensues? Well, <laughs> the car stops working. <laughs> so they come up to this, what looks like this nuclear power plant. <laughs> and they decide to walk in to see if, you know, anybody's around. <laughs> so at first they're curious, but they walk in. And when they walk in, they meet up with this militia team, this team of militias. Um, one of the guys is called Duke. Duke Nukem looks just like him. He's actually Andy Hammer. He's a pro bodybuilder. And uh, Kuchilla, who is this badass female who doesn't really talk much until the end of the film when she's barking orders because <laughs> she's the next in command. <laughs> Played by Rocky Raquel Pennington. If you don't know what she is, she's a UFC fighter. And she kicks ass in the, in the octagon as well. So, <laughs> And there's guys like Stick, who's an American Ninja Warrior. Really, American Ninja Warrior, played by Rucellas Perry. Um, so that's kind of good. We get a pro body build, an MMA fighter, and um, a dude who's on American Ninja Warrior. Pretty cool. Play a militia team. Um, Duke, Duke's just a badass. Um, there was a point where he comes across the zombie dinosaur, and he, he gets into a fist fight where he's actually... Punching the dinosaur. It knocks the dinosaur out. I was, like, losing my shit. <laughs> and they refer to him as Duke Nukem. Like, the other militia guys make fun of him. And, um, you know, there's one guy who's, like, Duke's sidekick. Um, who, who's tr tried to be a badass, but really isn't. <laughs> and then there's another guy who's into, all, who's into, like, weed and drinking and eating uh, can canned beans. And he's a real dolt. So you know bad stuff's gonna happen to him, right? <laughs> well, it does. So they're on this nuclear power plant, and then all of a sudden, Dr. Bork comes in, but Dr. Bork kind of seems like he shot himself with his own serum, um, but <laughs> he can talk. <laughs> 
and he basically orchestrates all his creatures to come attack the militiamen and the college kids. And some die and some don't, but I won't tell you who dies and who doesn't. <laughs> I predicted a Empire Strikes Back ending. An ending where it's the world is futile and there is no escape from the feudalism. And I was right. So just spoiler, spoiler alert there. But honestly, this should not in any way keep you from watching this film because this film is an ultimate blast. Um, other than dinosaurs, there are other creatures that the Doctor brings back to life to attack people. But once they're bitten by humans, now humans can turn into zombie-like creatures with their eyes just <laughs> are bloodshot red. If they bite you, you turn into a zombie, basically. Um, but these zombie-like creatures can talk and <laughs> make sounds like in a dinosaur. <laughs> a dinosaur doesn't talk, but it'd be cool if he did. <laughs> And basically, if they bite you, you turn into, like, the zombie-like creature. But you, you can still talk like a human. <laughs> it's just now you're the enemy and you're going after the innocent people and trying to rid the world of all the innocents so that the world can be full-edged zombie, zombie land. <laughs> um, I you know, While watching the film, I predicted it'd be cool if it ended like this. And it ended up ending like this, so it's pretty cool. The end scene with the reporter and one of the militiamen at the, at the total end of the film was absolutely hysterical. He just attacks the reporter. <laughs> Friggin' hysterical. This whole movie is absolutely hysterical. With a bunch of one-liners, um, this film does not take itself seriously. Um, it makes fun of itself throughout the film. It has a lot of comedy elements, um, along with good action and decent gore, you know? Uh, but, yeah. A lot of fun does not overwhelcome its day. It's like a uh, an hour and 20 minutes. So, um, you know, for an hour and 20 minutes, why not give this a watch? Jurassic Dead. Cheesy as hell. Has lots of good humor. Um, just a fun film, you know. Doesn't overwelcome its day. And I laugh through the whole thing, like literally. Um, some of the dialogue is terrible. The um, acting is completely hammy and absolutely awful. Other than Raquel Pennington. She just plays a badass and basically just plays herself. So, um, and honestly, um, great print. Jurassic Dead looks great on Blu-ray. Um, no grain. Just a perfect, perfect Blu-ray print for this movie. And honestly, I got this at Hamilton Books for like two bucks. So honestly, it is worth the two bucks to pick this one up. And you get a nice little slip cover. I mean, who beat that? But yeah, definitely check out Jurassic Dead. I'm going to rate this film. Ten being best cheese ever and one being worst cheese ever. And I give it a solid eight. Really enjoyed this film. Thought it was a blast. Laughed out loud during a lot of the scenes. Um, a lot of the action scenes and effects are very cartoony. Extremely cartoony. <laughs> I'll just say that much. But yeah, um, another great release from Wild Eye. They did a really great job with this film. And definitely you should check it out for some cheesy fun. <laughs> It'd be definitely good to have watch with a bunch of friends around drinking some colas. Oh yeah, you would have a blast watching this film. Definitely more amusing than I thought it would be. And, um cartoony action and effects, totally. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, and this was Wild Eye Releasing Week here. Check out more of the Body Bags guys for their Wild Eye reviews. And check me out next week, because next week, I'm about to encounter a stranger. What happens when a stranger calls? Points to ponder there. Mm, I think you know what I'm talking about. So definitely check out all the reviewers. They do an amazing job, passionate about films, like we all are. Please subscribe to Body Bags and Crispy Movies, and like it if you like it. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. But please, don't forget to check out those late night horror movies. Read up on your latest Fright Max. Don't forget to tune into another episode of Body Bags, where I'll find a dinosaur, give him a serum, and send him your way. <laughs> Later, guys.